everyone, it's Lisa here from Artist Free, and today I'm going to show you how to customize our bookmarks with any design you create with iron on ink and accessories. I'm going to make a personalized bookmark for my daughter to remind her to do her summer reading. So I'm going to start by placing my bookmark on the copy paper, and I want to trace it with a pencil because this will tell me the area that I have to work with. I'm also going to trace this little area. Now I'm going to write summer. I'm going to write it with a pencil, but you don't have to worry about this showing up on your final project because only the iron on ink will transfer. Since I'll be creating a mirrored image on the other side, I'm going to trace over this with Sharpie so that it will be easier to see when I flip the paper. So now we'll flip it over. And again, don't worry about the Sharpie because you will not see that in your final project. So I think I want to start with orange and I'm going to trace over my mirrored image. The thing I love about these chiseled marker tips is that they're great for adding fine details or for coloring in large spaces. You might also notice that the color is a little muted, but don't worry because with the magic of sublimation, they will become more vibrant and colorful. Now here's a project that I created earlier. When you're ready with your design, you want to take your bookmark and place the white side against the ink. You want to take your heat tape and tape it down. And when you're using a heat press, you only need a couple pieces, but if you're using an iron, you'll need more because sometimes the iron will cause the image to slip and you'll get a ghost image, which you definitely don't want. So now it's time for our sublimation sandwich. I'm going to take two pieces of protective paper. I'm going to have my paper side up and put it in between the protective paper and add it to the heat source. I preheated my heat source to 400 degrees and we're going to time it at 45 seconds. You'll want to have your work mat handy because this is going to be hot when it comes out and you don't want it to damage your workspace. You'll also want protective gloves. But if you don't have protective gloves, you can also use an oven mitt or pot holders. You just don't want to burn yourself. So now we just wait. Okay, so my heat press is beeping, so that tells me that our project is ready. I'm going to pull the bookmark out, put it on our work mat, and I'm going to wait a couple minutes. It's so tempting. I really want to see what it looks like, but I know it's hot, so we're going to give it a few minutes to cool down. All right, this is my favorite part. It's time for the big reveal, so let's see how our bookmark turned out. You just peel the paper off. Wow, these colors are so beautiful. Look how much they pop. My daughter is going to love this and hopefully it'll encourage her to read all summer long. There are so many things you can do with these bookmarks. You can use them in a gift bag, you can give them to a graduate, or you can even make a cute little bookworm. How easy was that? I hope you're feeling inspired to get started with Iron on Ink. If you want to know more about Iron on Ink, check out all the handy tutorial videos on our website or search Artist Free on YouTube. If you have any more questions, check out the FAQs on the website or contact us at artistfree.com. I also hope that you'll share your projects with us at hashtag artistfree and hashtag iron on ink on social media. We love seeing how you use our products and we'd love to share your creations too. Thanks for watching. See you next time here at Artist Free.